Okay, now we're going to just take a quick look at the UEFI BIOS on the Gigabyte Z77. Um, now, uh, they have two different modes you can do. You can go into the 3D BIOS mode or just look at it traditionally. Um, you have the different tabs up top here, the MIT tab, which is for all your uh, overclocking CPU and memory voltage settings, that sort of thing. Uh, you got the current status, which just tells you how everything's set. Advanced frequency lets you change the CPU clock and the memory profile. Um, you can go into specific memory settings here. Uh, and then we have the advanced voltage settings with the 3D power control that lets us do all of the power changes, uh, the core voltages for everything, as well as the DRAM voltages. PC health status uh, just tells us how everything is and the fan settings. And then miscellaneous just lets us change the uh, PCIe um, slots to Gen 1, 2, or 3, and then uh, legacy enhancements. We have our system settings. Uh, we can set the administrator password, date, and time. BIOS features to change the boot options here. Everything's pretty, pretty standard. Uh, peripherals, uh, this is where we can turn on the VIA controllers, SATA controllers, change them to RAID mode, AC HCI mode, uh, USB 2.0, audio, we can turn off all the extra features of the board here, as well as the um, Intel Smart Connect technology and the Marvell controller. Power management, basic power management settings, and then just our save and exit. And now if we click the 3D BIOS here, it will bring us into the uh, the actual 3D BIOS here where you get a good shot of the motherboard. And what you can actually do is just, it'll highlight each specific area. And when you click on it, it'll give you the options for that area. And then you also have this down here, which will just bring you right back down. Which is kind of cool. You don't get all the super advanced options uh, that you do when you go down below. It's more of the simple options, but it's very nice, very unique to Gigabyte with their 3D BIOS.